I'm Denise Spice and I was born in Brisbane quite a long time ago and I must say when I saw Sydney I thought that's the place for me. I joined the Art Gallery 50 years ago but I've been much more closely associated with the Gallery in the last two decades when I became a volunteer guide and also a trustee on the Foundation. There are so many aspects of guiding in this gallery. The children are brought in and introduced to art at, at quite an early age, so it becomes part of their lives. I'm not guiding anymore, but when I was guiding, uh, it was always a joy to impart the knowledge to people so that they could get a greater understanding of the exhibition you worked here at the gallery as a guide for, for a long time and you would have come across the full spectrum of our visitor population. How do you feel a bequest contributes to visitors' experience of this gallery and of, and of Sydney? Well, the, the gallery couldn't continue without the help of foundation members and, and money we get from bequests because the government doesn't contribute anything to the acquisition of new paintings or even quite small things like the um, headsets that people can use as they go around and listen to the guide. And it needs patrons to be aware that we need money from outside to help the gallery along. And with the wonderful new gallery that we're building all the paintings and sculpture and so on will be shown to such advantage there. And it'll be such a beautiful place on the harbour. And certainly an icon, I think, for overseas visitors to visit in Sydney. I think it behoves all of us to leave something to society according to our means. I think governments everywhere have thrown off this responsibility to private people to keep all sorts of aspects of life going, but particularly the arts. They maintain the building and such like, but they don't give any money for acquisitions. And as a result, the foundation was formed to, um, to raise money for acquisitions. But we need even more than that. We need bequests to keep the gallery going and to keep the, the life going in the gallery. It can't remain a static place. It, it has to be enlivened all the time and exhibitions brought from overseas so that if you can't travel and see them you can enjoy them here.